name is Gad Klein, and uh, I'm a neuropsychologist. And um, neuropsychology is a specialized subfield of uh, clinical psychology, um, where we get a lot of training in uh, both the neuro neurologic basis of behavior as well as um, the psychiatric basis of behavior. Um, usually, our referrals come from neurologists, pediatricians, um, geriatricians, um, basically even neurosurgeons, as is the case in this practice, um, basically any doctor who wants to get a better idea of how their patient is functioning cognitively. Um, the goal of a neuropsych assessment is to kind of look at um, and to examine uh, the brain behavior relationship, um, how brain injury or abnormal or even normal brain development um, impacts on cognitive functioning, such as memory, attention, visual spatial skills, uh, what are called executive functions, such as organization and decision making. Um, sometimes these are used uh, to help with a differential diagnosis um, in terms of figuring out exactly what's going on. A lot of neurologic disorders present with similar um, symptoms, physical symptoms, but can present with very varied um, cognitive profiles. And so sometimes examining that cognitive profile can be very useful in uh, kind of narrowing down the differential diagnosis. Um, neuropsychology can also be um, helpful in surgical cases, neurosurgical cases, um, where we assess prior to the surgery how they're doing. Um, and then post-surgically, we can assess any sort of changes in cognition, anything that the patient needs to be um, concerned about. Uh, my specialty um, areas are in primarily movement disorders and epilepsy as far as neurosurgical procedures go. Um, in both of those cases, uh, pre-surgical neuropsychological evaluation is, is is considered pretty much standard of care um, to try to rule out, in, in the case of uh, movement disorders and Parkinson's, to rule out any sorts of um, premorbid dementia that may be a contraindicated for a deep brain stimulation surgery. Um, and in epilepsy, to um, focus on where the epileptogenic tissue is and where the damaged uh, tissue is coming from. In, as part of the general, uh, more general cognitive evaluation, we also assess um, the social functioning of the patient, the psychiatric functioning of the patient, as well as the social support network that the patient has around them uh, to make sure that they can deal with the, the stress and the, you know, and the, the psychologic, um, sometimes trauma that comes with um, a neurosurgical procedure. Um, and we can make recommendations to the surgeon um, as to whether they are a good fit for, for this surgical procedure. Um, and. Uh, if they need specific help and specific counseling and, so and support um, either prior to or post-procedure. Um, post